Hello, Wizards, Witches, and Nomads. My name's David Sicello, and thank you for taking the time out of your day to visit my channel, Wands and Reviews. Now, if you're a fan of Quidditch, or just like to fly around on a high-quality broom, you probably heard of the owner of this non-official wand that I created. Little is known about the wizard who owns this wand, besides that he was a master flyer in his own right, and he was an average Quidditch fan who only not enjoyed watching the game, but enjoyed participating in it as well. This wizard's claim to fame was that he designed the Nimbus 1000 broom, which revolutionized the game of Quidditch, thus creating the Nimbus Racing Broom Company. Who is he, you ask? The one that I'm sharing with you today belongs to none other than Devlin Whitehorn. Here's my completed, non-official wand for Devil and Whitehorn. The wand measures in at 12.75 inches in total length. For someone who helped design and found the Nimbus Racing Broom Company, it was pretty obvious the design of the wand had to be broom-like in shape. I kept the shaft of the wand pretty simple and straight, but I wanted the handle to resemble the bristles of a broom. I had several ideas in mind, but the handle that I chose to use was a simple design which makes it easy to hold and cast spells. As you have seen, Devlin's wand is a miniature broom. I often wondered if his broom, or wand in this case, had transfiguration properties where it could resize itself to a full-size broom for flying, then shrink back down to be his wand. It makes sense for a wizard like Devlin to utilize the two as one. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, and if you would, subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it. And remember to share this video with your friends. Until next time, keep your head up and don't fly into any trees.